In this Wix tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a section. So your Wix site is made up of sections. We can see those sections pretty easily by clicking this zoom out to 50% button. And then as you scroll down, you see your different sections and they can be named and have all sorts of different content inside of them. So if we zoom back in, we can add sections. So if I wanted to add a section below this uh, header image, we can go up to this button on the left hand side called add a section. Now inside of here, we can add a blank section first if you want, and then there are a ton of different preset layouts. So there is something called the AI creator. So you could enter some information for the AI to create a section for you. And then you also have basic sections like a welcome section or maybe even an about section. And you can see how they insert different layouts with images. Let's go ahead and put in this about section right here. We can simply click and drag it to place it into any spot here on our site. So if I wanted to, I could put it at the top here, just below the header. And now we have this about section. Now we can go in and edit this section and this section will come with different content. So in this case, it comes with actually a strip. You can see the word strip right there and we can manage these columns. So we actually have two columns here. If we can click manage columns, you can see that I have a column on the right that includes an image and a column on the left that has some text and other elements in it. You can add more columns or you can actually delete columns or completely change this entire section. Now this strip actually runs the span of the uh, web page or the browser width. So we could also undo that and make it go to the page width instead and then work with our columns there. Now I say strip because this is a strip which is another separate element inside of a section. So the section itself is, if we move this toolbar, you can see here this section is like this about me section and we can come down here and do a little quick edit on that section to change the title of it and adjust some other content. If, if Wix sees certain content inside there, we can make those adjustments here uh, in this quick edit panel. You can also look at different layout options. In this case, there are no other section layouts, but you can change the background, change. So in this quick edit mode, you can do a lot of different things to edit that section without having to go into every piece and part of it, but you can do that. So we could click into this section on this strip, stretch it back out to the screen width if we want. We can click on any of this text and completely change it. We could call this about me instead. And then we could, you know, change the font, edit the text, change this social bar. And then you can click the plus icon to add any other elements to this section. So we do have two separate areas here, right? Two separate columns. So anything you click and drag in from out here. So like if we wanted to drag in a button, like this read more button, we could drag it in and attach it to this column. Maybe I'm going to put it next to this about me. Not that this is a design I would do, but we can bring buttons and bring other elements into these sections. But also, you can add a blank section. So let's take a look at that. So there are plenty of different layouts in here of all different sorts that can get you started. I like using some of these, like a contact us form. You don't have to build it all out. But also, you can just add a blank section. And when we clicked on that, it added that section in right below what we had selected, which was our section we added previously. Now this section is completely blank so you can start to build out whatever you want in here and then you can increase or decrease the size of the section. But essentially sections that your website is broken up into are just spaces for content. So you create a section or create some space here and you can build out your content inside there with all the different elements that Wix provides.